All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with this replay. We're in a bit of a pause to start this game. But uh, well, that gives us a little bit of time. This was a game requested from Catharo, who is going to be playing here on the Knicks, and Hippo, who is on the Slardar. So from what it looks like, it's going to be Invoker, Juggernaut, Omni Knight, Nyx, and Slardar against Ogre, Magi, Lion, Bristleback, Slark, and one more yet to come. That must be why the pause is here. I don't really want to skip forward. Don't want to go too far just yet. But from the looks of it, they don't exactly have a mid laner on the Dire just yet. But we see here that Invoker is most likely going to be in that mid lane here for the Radiant. Juggernaut in that safe lane. Omni Knight maybe in that safe lane as well. Sardar in that off lane. And Nyx possibly roaming around. So Catharo going to possibly be doing a bit of roaming. Sardar going to... Hippo going to be looking to get a bit of farm. And there without surprise is OD. So... It's going to be an OD, Slark, Bristleback, Lion, and Ogre, Magi for the side of the Dire. So, going to be getting ready for the pause coming, or get ready for the Bounty Rune, excuse me. Coming in here in about 30 seconds. Looks like it's going to be Hippo over here with Aloha Witness and Catharo. Meanwhile, down low, we're going to take a look. It's going to be Hobbs and Awkward Virus down low. But all four are up top here for the Dire Song. My old weekend are here along with that OD. Hippo going to get prisoned on up. The stun does come in here on my from Catharo. Now the stun comes in on Hippo, and he's going to be stunned up. But now he's going to get away. The Ignite does come out on Aloha Witness. He's going to get a little low here, getting quite low, about half health. They're going to put the chase on, and now the OD doing a bit of damage. He's going to miss that uphill miss right there. My continuing the chase, but they're all going to back off. Meanwhile, now Catharo and Hippo are in a bit of trouble. The stun does come out, the imprisonment as well. A little bit of first blood action. Hippo getting real low. The Sunstrike is there, going to do a little bit of damage, and Song going to grab himself first blood here on Hippo, and now Aloha Witness trying to get away here as... Song is going to grab himself a double kill with that stun. So a quick, fast start here for the side of the Dire. Meanwhile, Radiant down low. Hobbs going to try and go on carry, but he's under tower with no creeps. And Bristleback going to find his way out and get healed up here by Awkward Virus. So it looks like it's going to actually be Catharo and Hippo here in the off lane. It's going to be Aloha Witness in this mid lane against the OD. And Hobbs and Awkward Virus against Carry Bristleback. So already up top. It's a tri lane here for Old Weekend Song and Mai with this Sark Lion Ogre Magi mix up here. Which is going to make it a little difficult for Hippo and Catharo to get into lane. We've got the Ignite that's going to come out quite often from my song can get that ranged attack going in. And, so, you know, it really opens a lot of potential for some kills here. You get a Pounce, you get a Stun from Song, you get a Hex from Song, and you also get the Stun from my. That could cause some trouble here in the offlane for the side of the Radiant. So right now, top farmer is this Sark Old Weekend who does have himself our early Wraith Band here, but nothing really that much more here in the mid lane. Aloha Witness is going to be behind, but not really by too much. Going up for this two-minute rune, it's going to be Aloha Witness grabbing himself a bounty, kind of get himself back into this. Really needs to find a way back in because once this OD starts getting levels, it's going to be difficult from there. So we take a look up top. My song putting the pressure on Hippo and Catharo. They aren't really farming that much. It's 0 and 1 for Catharo and 4 and 0 for Hippo. 
Liquid Virus getting chased down here. Carry doing work. Does throw out those quills and gets himself a kill. And now, in a little bit of trouble here as Carry is getting blocked in by these MVP creeps. Carry getting really low here. Hobbs looking for one or two more last hits. He's taking a bunch of quills here. He's getting pinged out. Nobody coming his way. One more, and Carry might be able to turn around here with the amount of quills that are on Hobbs. One more hit. The Sunstrike does come in. It is going to land here on Carry. He's going to fall. So Aloha Witness picking up the kill, helping Hobbs out. And it's a one-for-one -one trade, but taking out that off-lane bristle is pretty huge. Take a look back up top here to Mai and Song. He's going to pull these creeps with this camp over here and make the lane head a little bit more his way, helping out old Weaken. Cathro and Hippo do spot them. The stun does come out on Cathro. Now the stun comes out on both Hippo and Cathro. The stun now from Hippo only grabs Song. Mai doing a lot of damage here. The stun does come out. Now Cathro trying to get away. He's real low here. He's going to use his fairy fire to try and make himself away. The pounce is blocked by Hippo, saving the life of Cathro. The stun does come out by Hippo on too. And now Hippo getting really low here. He's going to fall to the lion. Song grabbing himself a third kill. Now old Weaken. He's pretty low. Not level 6. And... Ogre does have that Sunstrike available if he just wants to throw it. Right, take a look here as Hobbs. He's in at 12 and 3, level 4. He's all by himself right now as Carry goes on to grab that Bounty Rune. And Ogre Magi grabs that double damage. So, oh, how Witness might be in a little bit of trouble here as the stun does come out. And now OD doing a little bit of work, hitting him really hard. Mai has that double damage, and they're going to grab themselves a kill. As Aloha Witness does go down. And now Hippo and Cathro trying to get some kills here. They do get the stun on Song. Now Cathro actually going to be the one who gets stunned up here. He doesn't have enough for Impale. The heal does come from Awkward Virus. Does give him the repel. The stun does hit. And Hippo's going to find himself a kill on Song. Now, Old Weekend looking for the turnaround. But by himself, he's going to have to be careful. The stun comes out on Cathoro. Now Mai doing a lot of damage. The pounce might fly from Old Weekend. It does. And connects on Cathoro. But the stun is there from Hippo. The sun strike to follow. Hippo grabs himself a double kill. Now Mai trying to hit away at Hippo. Not going to be enough at the time right now. And now the stun from Hippo. The heal from Awkward Virus. Body blocking him. The mana drain from Nyx. And they're going to grab themselves another kill. So a really good turnaround. A lot of gold going the way of the Radiant here. Turning it around on the Dire. Grabbing themselves a bit of kills. And Hobbs getting some open space here to farm the way he wants. Carry. Going to search into this jungle here for Hobbs. But not going to find anything doing. So Omni Slash is used. And Hobbs is going to grab himself a kill. I thought Hobbs might walk away from that one. But he does go in and does use the Omni Slash to get himself a kill. So Hobbs doing pretty well here. 12 and 1. And stun comes up here. A little bit of a mana burn from Cathar. The stun comes out on Hippo and Cathar from Song. But he doesn't really have much mana for anything else. And Old Weaken coming really deep here does miss the stun from Hippo. The stun from Cathar misses as well. And that's an impel from Song. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Aloha Witness is going to fall to the OD and Ogre Magi combo once again. So, 28 and 9 here in this mid lane for the OD. Doing really well here. Has himself some boots, grabbing himself two sentries, and already has himself a hand of Midas. Right, Cal, well, we do miss ourselves a kill. The Bristleback taking out Hobbs. So, even though this is a replay, I am still prone to missing kills here. Still a walking courier here for the Dire. Meanwhile, Hippo getting in ignited here. Repel is put on. Not 
really much more happening. So we take a look at this mid lane. And actually switch to the net worth, and the lead is the OD by about a thousand. Next is Hobbs on that juggernaut with about twenty nine hundred. Then you've got Carry on the Bristle, and Hippo on the Sorter. So they do move back, can sense the little gank coming out from OD, and they uh, don't want any of that. So Hobbs grabs himself some phase boots. He does have that Omni Slash available. Might want to try and clean up these creeps to throw it, but now he's already really low here. He's getting dangerously low at 260. 130 health. One more quill spray, and that could be it. The Omni Slash is thrown, but that's not going to be anywhere near enough. The spin is there, but he's going to fall to carry. Getting a little too aggressive there. Did not have the health to make that work. The Sun Strike is there. Gonna fly and Aloha Witness has himself another Sun Strike kill. So we take another look up top. Katharo and Hippo are here. Impale thrown. Not on anybody. Mai may be looking for a gank on Aloha Witness, but he's not there. So two dire heroes here in the top two net worth spots. Not something you want to see on the side of the Radiant, especially that OD in that top spot with the Midas. So awkward virus trying to hit away at this Hellbear. But look at him. He's got a lot of health. Awkward virus only hits for 66. Now Mai in the area, he is under Ward Vision, so it's not something they don't see. And the Ignite does come out, the Repel is there on Awkward Virus. And he's just going to walk away with Hippo and Cathara. Meanwhile, we take another look down here. 38 and 10 is Hobbs. Meanwhile, we take a look at Carry, who's 31 and 1, and he's under tower here. The Regen is there for Hobbs, but it's getting killed by Carry. Easy gold. Now Midas comes out from Aloha Witness. So the Hex is there. The stun from Mai. The stun from Song. Now the Ignite. Not really doing too much. Hippo does get the stun. And so does Catharo. Now he's going to have the mana burn. And now no mana for him to run away. The mana suck is there from Song. Mai trying to back up. And he will find his way just about under tower. Now the Pounce is on Hippo. Stunned up by Mai once more. Now they're trying to find themselves out. The Repel does come out on Hippo. Awkward Virus has no more mana left, and the OD is here. He's going to get stunned up by Hippo, stunned up by Catharo, and they're all going to make their way back and scot-free out of this engagement. We thought they were engaged, and plans did not turn out accordingly. They called it off. So, Carrie and Hobbs still trying to... Find out who's going to be the stronger carry here. And they want it to be them and not Slark. So stun comes out here from Song on Hippo. The Hex to follow as well. The Repel is there. Now the stun on Old Weaken, who is level 5. So he's vulnerable to some attack. Hippo taking a couple shots here at Song. And the stun will follow. That bash at only 10%, so... Or in Jesus, not on his side. The Sun Strike is here. Aloha Dance gonna grab himself a kill. Or Aloha Witness. I'm mixing up names. It gets from bad to worse with casting as I am now calling names incorrectly. So, Awkward Virus. Gonna heal up Hippo here. A little low on mana. Not to worry, though. So Song really looking for something. Catharo does have that Vendetta up. Can't move too far under tower here. But it looks like Aloha Witness and not Aloha Dance is going to be looking to help them gank with this Ghost Walk. That's actually an Invis rune. Never mind. 
So he's got Cold Snap and Meatball. You'd think he'd be looking for Tornado here. And now Song's going to get hit with the Vendetta. The Impale is actually going to miss. And now Song trying to walk his way out, but not going to make it. So now the TP is here from OD, but really no follow-up here from the Dire. TP back mid for Aloha Witness, and that's all she wrote for this one. Hippo, two times multicast, trying to bring the pressure here. Old Weekend, still not level 6, not getting that heal. So we take a look here. Hobbs and Carrie are together. Now it looks like the goo and the spikes are ready to fly. Carrie hitting down on Hobbs. He's going to dive this tower, trying to get himself a kill. And he will be hitting hard. And now Hobbs hitting right back. And here comes the TP in from Slardar. Hobbs going to try and spin away. Make Carrie in a little bit of trouble. But Bristleback does get the kill. Carrie now going to try and get himself a kill on Hippo. Is Hippo trying to follow up? The Sunstrike is there. Not going to land just a little off. And Carrie will be able to squeak his way out. So Hippo and Katharo both rotate for this. Leaving Awkward Virus alone. Going to get hit up by the stun. Repelling himself now. And avoiding that stun from Song. quick look at the last hits it is od with 59 and 15 above hobbs on the juggernaut and slardar hippo grabbing himself another kill here but this time it's on slark who was in this off lane looking for some farm gets taken out by the hippo Thoro combo Tharo coming in with the Vendetta here. No Sentry Ward Vision, so OD have, has to be a little careful from moving up and Mai making the rotation. Tharo is there. And he's just going to back up as this Vendetta is going to wear out. Take a look up top. It's just Song. Now Hippo really could have free reign. Get himself some free farm and do some work. Now in the mid lane, Aloha Witness does grab himself a kill on Mai. So they finally get that kill in mid lane. That's three miss kills for me. It's getting bad here. This is why I am not in a studio. But on to more meaningful things. Take a look up top. Song still by himself. 7 and 10 here. And now we take a look at Old Weekend. Finally hitting level 6 here. Only 36 and 7. And has a recipe for Andamitis. So he'll be trying to catch up with that. Meanwhile, the Blink Dagger is here on Hippo. The Initiation now available for the Radiant side. Which might give him the opportunity to get a couple kills up here. So the blink, the stun on Old Weekend. Now the stun comes out from Cathar, but the two stun comes in from Song, and now the pounce is there. Cathar going to get really low here, and he's going to fall. So it doesn't end like they would like it to. Awkward Virus going to put the repel and back up, and Hippo just going to blink his way out. Meanwhile, the stun does come out from my Awkward Virus getting in a little trouble. Heals himself up. Uses the Guardian Angel, and now they get the kill on my carrying a bit of trouble. The stun does come out on Awkward Virus. He's going to get hit up here. Now the Repel is there. Not going to be enough as Carrie gets the kill. The Omni Slash comes out, and there's the kill on Bristleback. Lion uses the finger to grab Slardar, and Juggernaut finishes up Song. So it's a 3-for-2 trade benefiting the Radiant a little bit more as Hobbs grabs himself one component closer to that Battle Fury. Another step closer to getting that farm online. Might have finished here on Old Weekend, trying to get himself back up. He is pretty low here. Third on his team and sixth overall. Old Weekend, he has a lot of farming potential, but Hobbs is going to grab this Battle Fury, and he's, gonna, he's just going to start to snowball 
and it's going to be really hard for the Dyer to really keep up with that. So here comes the blank stun. Hobbs going to grab it. Now the ulti flies, and now the cold snap is there. The stun comes out. Aloha Witness does get hit. The ulti flies from OD. Not going to really do much dam damage. Aloha Witness is now dominating. Mai is there with the crimson uh, guard of carry. And the triple stun ravage from Hippo. Now it's a kill for the Nyx Assassin. Invoker grabbing himself a kill on the Ogre Magi as well. That's two down, three down actually for the side of the Dyer. And now this game is just getting out of hand. Radiant's going to be able to push here. Three down on the side of the Dyer. Only one with buyback. And they're not going to force it. Only getting this tier two possibly in nine seconds left. But that ulti was used here by OD, and it's down for quite a while. So they'll grab this tier 2, most likely with ease, and nothing really doing otherwise. You take a look at old Weaken, and he doesn't really have much. He has Midas and Treads, and that's about it. So we'll hot weakness. He's going to TP in lane, and now he's going to get caught out by the imprisonment, but there's not really much follow-up to that. Just stopping a TP. Sark trying to find his way out. He will pounce. He's getting a little bit of heal back. The blink in, the stun, and Hippo with another kill. Song going to go down again to that juggernaut using that Omni Slash. Now OD, Mai, and Carry are here. They're going to be looking for something. Stunned out is Carry, and now they're going to start working on him. Guardian Angel is there. They're going to continue to work on these three heroes here. That's all that's left. Hippo with the stun. Hippo with the hit. Nyx Assassin Catharo going to get the kill here. Three down for the side of the Dire. We zoom a little far out here. Carry going to get hit up a little bit. He's got that ulti from... Hippo on him, and now the heal comes out from Awkward Virus. The spin is there. The ravage from Catharo. Carry Mai getting low. Mai to fall first. Carry gonna fall. Dominating his Hobbs. And that's all five dead, but two have come back. That fight took so long. They're back. Not really much they can do now. Is That's a 4,000 gold swing for the side of the Radiant. And we take a look here at the items, and it's Battle Fury for Hobbs. And that's just going to be all they really need as the Axe is going to be finished in a little bit for Aloha Witness. Nyx, Catharo doesn't really have too much, but they get another kill here. You take a look at that net worth, and that's just about 10,000. You've got Catharo on a killing spree, grabbing that Slark. This game might be too far out of hand for the side of the Dire. So Hobbs working on this tower, has himself a Battle Fury, one component away from that Yasha. Blink Dagger is there for the OD, but 21 minutes in, how much is it really going to help? It's not survivability, it's not damage, it's just mobility for OD. And that's really just, at this point, when you're getting mobility this far down, 10,000 net worth, it's questionable. I mean, obviously, it's a needed item here. You want to get yourself a little bit of mobility. Get yourself the possibility to initiate with that imprisonment. But this far in, that far down, it may not work out. So OD does spot Tharo. He is not no longer under Sentry Ward Vision. An awkward Virus does find his way out. So Hobbs, Hippo, Aloha, Witness are there, and Cathar's going to try and scout out this dire side. Yeah. Arcane Rune, perfect for Aloha Witness. They're going to try and grab this Roche, considering the dire's on the opposite side. No ward vision here either, so they don't really know unless they realize everybody's off the map. They really don't have enough time to really counter this. And the Aegis is on the ground. Oh, well, how Witness going to be the one to pick it up? I thought that would go to Hobbs for sure. So we take a look. Aloha Witness going to push 
here with his Forge Spirits. And we'll have Witness here with Awkward Virus can just get healed up with a little bit of the Repel. Shouldn't be in too much trouble here with this Axe. He's going to be doing a lot. I'm going to try and throw an Ignite here. Does land. No multicast. And this tower will fall. So, stun comes out here from Hippo. Not sure what that was. Maybe he was going to blink. Didn't press it in the right order, but whatever. So, EMP is there. For Aloha Witness, and we take a look at Hippo. Does have the repel, the ability to go in here. The EMP Tornado is there, gonna land with the meatball. Great combo, and now he is in the imprisonment, but it's not really gonna be much. The stun comes out for Cathar, gonna hit on my Crimson Guard is active. The stun is in on two from Hippo. The Omni Slash to fly. Carry gets all by himself, and now he's getting hit up by the Cold Snap and the spin from Hobbs, and now they continue to follow through. As Old Weekend's gonna get hit here. Song getting really low. He's gonna fall to Catharo. Catharo gets himself a double kill here. And he's on a mega kill streak. And four fall for the side of the Dire and Radiant all up here. So this is definitely gonna be bottom tier three and Rax, if not mid as well. Old Weekend comes out here. And he's gonna fall. So all five dead and only one with buyback. And that's Old Weekend. He doesn't really have much. Catharo with the triple kill here. Gets himself doing pretty well. Four on the side of the rating at this top of the net worth. And take a look at the net worth. It's about 20,000. GG is called from my, but this is not league play, so it's not technically over. So a little bit of glyph coming out here. Carrie trying to do something. The spin is there. The Hex to follow. Now the stun comes out. It's going to hit a low eyewitness who's going to get healed up by Awkward Virus. Meanwhile, Song's going to fall. Carry getting bashed here. He's going to get really low. He's going to fall to Hobbs. Meanwhile, Hippo looking for something. The EMP flies under the stun of Hippo, and they're going to be drained up. Meanwhile, Old Weekend trying to get himself out. Stunned up is mine. Now the Sun Strike is there. Not going to hit anybody because he's already dead. Hippo grabbing himself another kill on the OD4 dead again for the side of the Dire. And another GG flies. Still means nothing. When they change the rules, I will tell you. So old weekend getting hit up here. Dagon flies from Catharo. And that's another kill. So he's 8-1. And, and Hippo here, 9-3. Well, uh, witness 8-3 and 9. Pretty good game overall from everybody. Hobbs, 6-3 and 10. He's going to fall to my... And... Uh, that's not nice. He was shopping. So bottom and mid racks are gone here. Tier 4 is being worked on. Crimson Guard used. Stun does fly. Aloha Witness getting a little low here. Does have the Aegis now. Song is just going to get popped. Hippo in a little bit of trouble here. Going to find his way out. The EMP is there. Am I going to be without any more mana? Going to get tornadoed up and he's going to... Not fall just yet as Aloha Witness does lose that Aegis. And, oh, he does get himself a kill now on Maya. As he gets really low, he's going to fall. The stun from Hippo. I don't think that hit. And now he's trying to find his way out. And he will blink away. That was actually 2,200 gold going the way of the Dire. We watched Tong Fu. They lost a pretty hefty gold lead earlier this month. I know that's not the same thing, but it's not over till it's over. And now the blink, the stun, the whiff. But, oof, Vendetta, stunt Hippo. Getting another kill on Song. This is a really sad lion here. Stun on carry. Forever stunned. As he will fall, the ulti will fly from OD. Not really going to do much damage. Hippo hitting away here on the OD. Throws the stun, has the repel. He's going to hit away and grab himself another kill. And now Hippo looking for another stun line up here. The heal comes out from Awkward Virus. He's going to get hit up from tower. Actually, creeps are going to take it for now. 
An awkward fire is going to be able to walk away here. Stun missing from Hippo. Ult will be thrown, though. And Hobbs will take out the first of two tier fours. Stun comes out here from Song. Not hitting any heroes, but trying to clean up these creeps. Old Weaken is there. He is invisible. Has that Shadow Blade. Old Virus in a little bit of trouble. He will fall. The stun comes in from Hippo. And now Juggernaut going to use that Omni Slash. He's going to grab himself three. Triple kill for Hobbs. Meanwhile, Hippo grabbing that bash. Now, buyback from Mai. Prisman is there. Hobbs going to ha have to walk his way out here. No Aegis. Now the blink stun is there. Hobbs trying to do a lot of work. Hobbs will find himself another kill. And that will make him 10 and 4. Stun comes out here from Cthario. Not going to grab himself a kill. The stun from Hippo is going to grab two. My and OD going down. So all five are dead for the Dire. Is it over yet? Can we queue for the next one? Now a moon shard here on Hippo. Now they work at this top lane of Tower and Racks. Trying to get themselves some Mega Creeps. Right. Ancient getting hit here by Creeps. Hobbs is going to buy back here. What about this travel? He wants to be here. And he will. Now Old Weekend try and grab Cathar, though. <laughs> Finger is there. They will get the kill on Cathar, but the Ancient will fall, and it's all over exactly 30 minutes in. 44 to 18. The Radiant will take this one. Well played. So, a little bit of items coming out here for Aloha Witness. So, we've got Aloha Witness going 9, 4, and 10. Hobbs going 10, 5, and 12. Awkward Virus, 1, 4, but 19 assists, keeping his team alive. 8, 2, and 13 from Cathario. Hippo, 16, 3, and 20 on the Slardar. My Ogre Magi, 1, 10, and 10. Song, 4, 11, and 5 on the Lion. Carry, 5, 9, and 5 on that Bristleback. Old Weekend, 3, 7, and 3 on that Slark. And finally, the OD going 5, 7, and 2. That's all she wrote here for this cast of a, of a game sent to me. I'm on the road to TI7. Maybe a studio sees this, but that's all for now. If you want to send me a cast, a uh, game to cast, send me an email at bcopcasting at gmail.com. It's $5 minimum or more, whatever. But that's it for now, and I'll be back with another one.